So today I want to talk about premature ejaculation as well as the question of how to last longer in bed. But before I get into it, I want to quickly remind you that I also have a podcast. It's called The Sex Podcast, which you can exclusively on Spotify. And I also have a book out, which is called The Sex Book. And it's available on Amazon as well as at bookstores nationwide. And now let's jump right in to PE, yani ki premature ejaculation, as well as the question of how to last longer in bed. Okay, so let's begin with a definition. Premature ejaculation, simply put, is when a person with a penis frequently or always ejaculates sooner than they would like. This is a very common concern hai among men. Now, while of course you can see a sex therapist or a urologist about premature ejaculation, here are a few things that it is worth keeping in mind. Most people don't last as long as you may think. Studies ke mutabik, penis and vagina penetrative intercourse ke baare mein baat kare, to the average duration till ejaculation is just around 3 to 7 minutes for most couples. Kaafi log ye sunkar baat hi surprised hote hai, but yup, that's the average. What you and your partner consider desirable could be within this range or maybe it's outside of this range. Some people like for sex to last for a longer time, While kuch log prefer karte hai that penetration finishes more quickly. So, aisa koi ek hi perfect duration for how long sex should last? Vaisa kuch hai hi nahi. Balki ye to har couple ke khud ke personal preferences par depend karta hai. So, it's worth discussing with your partner ki aap dono ko kya pasand hai. How long would you both ideally want sex to last? And what gives each of you the maximum pleasure so you both can together create that experience. One of the most important things to remember is that sex is so much more than just penetration. So you can slow things down instead of speeding things up. Zyada time on acts pe bhi bitaye jinhe traditionally foreplay consider kiya jata hai like Kissing, breast play, oral sex, fingering, butt stuff. There is so much you can do that has nothing to do with how long you last that can still provide a lot of pleasure for both you and your partner. My second tip is that you can try edging, just say start stop technique. Basically, this method me jab kabhi bhi aapko lage that you are close to coming. Tab take a pause. You can simply take a deep breath or change positions or just relax for a moment until that feeling of being about to come subsides. And then us activity ko resume kare. So as a start stop kar kar ke, you can extend the duration until climax, meaning that you end up lasting longer and your ultimate climax tends to be more intense. My third tip, Sir of genitals per focus karne ke alawa, focus on the less obvious spots too. Tickling, licking, ya even just breathing against certain body parts such as the ears, the neck, the lower back, the breasts, the thighs, even behind the knees, even just caressing the hair or massaging your partner's feet. All of these activities can be extremely pleasurable and yet most of us kind of don't bother doing this because we're so focused on penis or vagina. Ek dusre ke aise less obvious erogenous zones ko bhi explore or celebrate karne se intense pleasure or prolonged intimacy experience kar sakte hai. Also, ye bhi dhyan mein rakhe ki simultaneous orgasms are actually kind of rare. Most couples don't come at exactly the same time. In fact, aisa to mostly sirf movies mein hi hota hai. So remember ki aisa zaruri nahi hai ki the sex has to end just because the person with the penis ejaculated. You can take turns pleasuring each other. It doesn't matter who comes first as long as both parties are willing to make sure that both have an equally good time, even if it's one after the other. I hope you liked this video. Acha laga. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Lisa Mangaldas. I will see you soon. Bye.